Dropped out of school, now we done rich. This sound like some 4301 shit. Hey you guys, so for today's video, I wanted to do like a new a new look for myself. I will be doing that. And a story time for you guys of the time when I worked at Home Depot. Hmm. Okay. I don't even know where to begin with the story. Well, um let's see. First, my mom, my mom, you know, she was working out there, and so I was like, she's talking about they pay, they pay really good. So I was like, you know what? I'm a, I'm a go. I'm a go and um, fill out an application for them, and um, and see if I. If I get accepted, I'll take out a process too. And so this, this is how the process goes. You're supposed to fill out your application. You don't get a call to, um, I say about a week after you put it in. And it's not the call from the store calling you. It's from the, where the headquarters of Home Depot is. Like, and that's in, I think, Georgia? I think I think it's in Georgia. I don't I forgot. But um the little robot will call you on the phone and you'll also get an email talking about um we need you to call and you know give your little access number because they tell you oh we would like to set up an interview for you but you can't set up the freaking interview if you don't have that little code. And four, when you do get that code and stuff in the interview, you it's like you have to wait like another week or two for that to like ooh, this is cute. For that to go go in and then see, I was like, I'm not waiting, okay? I I need a job pronto. And so when I went in there when it was finally time for my um my interview, I talked to the manager. It was like two people in there. I was like, I'm not understanding why it's, why it's, why does it take two people to do to do an interview, but okay. And um he was asking me, you know, the regular questions that they ask you at any job with those boots guys. You know, why do you want to work here? Um what position did you apply for? Oh, and let me tell y'all the other part. I'm sorry if y'all can hear my dad and sister downstairs. Um, they make you take the drug test. Yes, you have to take a drug test in the store. And they like, it was like, uh, it looked like something... It look, the okay, the drug test looked like a freaking pregnancy stick, a pregnancy stick, something you would pee on. And so, after after you do all that stuff, um, I don't know how I feel about those shoes. Let's try to clear boots. Oh, I want to try those. Um, after that, you go to you go in a different room. And the person like set up your schedules, you know, other day the days you can work because you know they will say, oh, you have to have one availability day because so you can I don't know why you have to have at least one availability day because you have to have at least one day you can they can schedule you any time of the day. Now this is where I didn't like working for them. So, you know, cuz you spend your first few weeks in there, you don't you're not on the floor like the other, you know, workers in there. But I had um 
my position at Home Depot was in paint. And you know, it was it was fun and all until but people get on your nerves and like where I work where I did work at a certain Home Depot, it was kinda like people were were prejudiced out there. Let's say them. And um but working in the paint it was kinda fun until people started getting on your nerves. Then people would get on your nerves. But let me let me finish saying what I was about to say. Yeah. Keep going to different topics. But um not different topics. Going just getting ahead of myself. Um I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to remember because it's where I would go. Yeah, they have you sitting back there training on a computer so you know you know what to do when they're ready for you to get out there, get out on the floor. So you have to sit back there training for a couple of weeks, you know, until you feel comfortable or you're ready. But I'm pretty sure they're probably, they will rush you to hurry up and finish your training. Um, so then, you know, I get on, I get out on the floor one day. And I meet, I meet the people that I'm supposed to be working with. And they was like, I think, I think this was kind of like my first official day coming out on the floor and stuff like that. And, um, I met, I met about two people. One lady who didn't even work in that department. They just called her whenever they needed her. So I'm like, dude, you should get extra pay for this, and she she don't even she don't even work in this department, like, like what? But the only reason I liked working in paint because, or as they would say, whatever your whatever department that you're in, for example. My mom, she worked as a cashier, and she only got $9 an hour, and I think they increased it to 10 for the new people that come in as cashiers, um, and if you worked in paint, I think you got nine seventy five. but it says each department, each department that you work in, you're, you know, the money goes up. And so I was like, ooh, that is awesome. But, um, I feel like this is going to be a long video. There was this one time, you, they had, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know much. And if you ever work at Home Depot, be prepared for this. They put me out there on the floor by myself and keep in mind I didn't have that much training nobody they didn't really get a chance I mean I only got to see like one or two times how to do something and they just decided oh we're gonna put her on the floor by herself everybody else who worked there even worked in the daytime and went home <clears throat> So it's kind of like, what in your right mind, why would you put somebody on the floor knowing that they don't know that much? That's that's what I didn't like. I didn't have that much training and you're just going to put me out here on the floor? That's stupid. It's stupid. <sighs> and so this lady comes in. And I think she's saying, you know, can you, uh, can you give me such and such type of pain? Or can you give me this pain? And keep in mind, I didn't have much training. I said, oh, I tried to, you know, at least call someone and tell them I didn't know what to do. But nobody ever came. And, and you know what happened? 
the lady got mad. She took her, she took her little paint can and stormed off. I ain't care. I was like, bye. And so, keep in mind, my mom is work. I'm working there while my mom works there. The lady goes up to my mom. I didn't, I didn't hear this until it was time to get off of work. And we were getting in a car, and she, my mom told me that the lady said, she said, I can't, I can't stand, um, incompetent people. I was like, why? I like how she said it to you, ma, but, but she, she, she couldn't say it to me. And talking about she wanted to see a manager. See the manager. Maybe you should get on them. And look, and make them feel stupid or something for for putting people out on the floor who don't have that much training. Maybe you you should do that. Complain about that. But the manager came over to me and was like, you know what? It's fine. I understand people people are like that. I don't know why they would leave y'all here on the floor. I don't know why they would leave me out here on the floor either by myself. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell y'all this other time when I was mad and and I I just wanted to quit. Okay, cause people like to come cause the store closes at ten. People like to come in all late to get their paint. And keep in mind, you know those big gallons. What is it? Five gallons of paint. Some some people help you lift those. Some of them. Some people don't. And it's like. I don't know why I'm working in this department. I'm stressing myself out. I'm lifting something that's super heavy that you should be lifting because you want it. Thank you. Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, you had to lift the little, the little, they ain't no they ain't fucking little. You had to lift them five gallons of paint and. But I'm trying to see. What is that? Oh, let me see. Okay, 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 okay. Well then, where does where does stuff be at? I'm gonna click on her. Um, yeah, you have to lift that stuff by yourself. And so one day, I was tinting paint, and this lady, oh, I was cleaning up you know getting ready to go because it's like in order for you to be able to leave without somebody being like oh can you fix me this nah nigga i am gone okay i had to uh like leave early or like yeah i had to leave leave early so people would stop coming in there because i think they should have that shut down at a certain time and this many this video is about to be 15 minutes long I'm sorry guys, I'm talking too much. But um I was t this lady asked me cuz she wanted a certain paint and I'm like, why not just get one of the, you know those little cars that y'all see in there, the little paint swatches. She was like, "Can I get my I want it like this color, but not this color. Like a light a lighter color." <sighs> I'm like, "If you just got a color, it would be so much simple." And I was sitting up there tinting freaking paint for her. And the guy is gonna accuse me of stealing paint. I'm like, that is my job. What what are, what are you doing? How am I stealing paint or giving away free paint? The paint is only freaking fifty cents. The ones in the little in the little jar, the little samples are only fifty cents when people don't want them and stuff like that. So that's all I was doing. But I'm gonna wrap this video up, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see y'all next time. You don't know what you just started. All I do is hang with the young and heartless. All this for my family, man, I try my hardest.